how distance are the angle on Preussen? Kiting away, like GK, amazing, even better. Going forward, a tiny bit better, but not that much. The horn is pretty nice. Ragna Hammerfall. <laughs> nice name. Let's go. Let's go full speed though. <sighs> Oh, by the way, two days chat. Um, today is Tuesday, right? On first day, I'm probably I don't know if I'm gonna play ships on stream. I'm not sure, but Total War Warhammer 3 is gonna be released on first day, so we're probably gonna jump into that. We'll have to see though, if I'm gonna do it from the start of the stream or start with ships or something, depending when I can download it, of course. Oh yeah, it's patch day as well on Laos. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe we're gonna do both, we'll see. Gumbled on Prosen, yes. Full gun and survivability build. No, nothing into secondaries at all. As I think the ship should be played eventually. We try both. Oh, the brakes on this ship are so bad. We turned instantly when we saw them. Flugzeug 
Oh, ich der Gross. Uh, my reload is gonna be too brutal. <coughs> I really do love this reload though. I mean, look at this. 20 seconds. Roundabout. Oof. Oof. Pyrogaster just subscribed. Pyrogaster, thank you for seven months. Really, really appreciate it. And welcome back to the new party. <clears throat> thank you so much, my dude. guy doesn't like my guns yep sir you better stop shooting <coughs> your shell duking is not working on me my friend actually it might this time no not really we're gonna get through to it Neptune might have talked over here he has 10 cam tops after all we're still gonna push Because I must push. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. We can defend it here a bit. The Dürer on top for this gap, though. That's way more of a question than the Neptune. Yo, what? Hello? Yeah, there are the Neptune tops I expected. Hello, what was this? Neptune? Can you tell me how? Again. <coughs> also, Preussen. Okay. He's gonna talk over here. Super duper obvious, my friend. Oh yes, that was to be expected. Is it better than GK? It's different. I wouldn't say it's necessarily better, although it has some benefits, but it also has some downsides. It has a lot of edges over a lot of cruisers. But overall the accuracy is pretty poor. I mean, it's okay, but it's like what I expected to be. I mean, it, it works against the Ds perfectly, as you can see. Okay, saying it has poor accuracy was quite a bad choice when you just saw that. But overall the accuracy is only average. It's nothing special. It's pr it's pretty poor when you look at it. It's eight guns only. I mean, of course, it was pinpoint on that DD because I guess the game hated him. But yeah, the real selling point is the fast reload and the nice 30 millimeter overmatch. Honestly. On the bet, on that minor, we're gonna miss everything now. Hey, look at that dispersion on the mine or something. It's like, Ugh! I mean, we hit, but there was nowhere near what it was on the DD before. Is it just? I mean, this is this is a super tinfoil tinfoil head theory. Now I agree on that part. But is it just me, or does it feel like battleships are more accurate if they shoot smaller targets? Because I feel like when you're in a battleship and you shoot the DD, dispersion can be absolutely nuts. Yeah, he's toast. Not to surviving, but that was good stuff as well. Neptune 
can launch torps. No dead already. Yeah, but he didn't have the. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this last one was not a Neptune torp. I think there was something else. But I guess it must be. No, never mind. Elving is not spawned here. Oh my God, he's getting protected by the Neptune. No, what is this heresy? He's helping him out. Yes, and the Force Tremor is a great DD. <coughs> it's strong, but it has its weaknesses. Cover be beast now just to kill the Pommern if possible. Come on, Pommern guy. What's my reload right now? 17.4 seconds. That's pretty disgusting. It is really disgusting. Oh. I mean, you can see, especially close range, you can land all the shells. Unlike that Pommern. <clears throat> so to summarize this ship in my opinion it has the same problem as GK your firing angles are pretty bad uh, they are better than the GK which is nice but especially if you push not as good as they could be you have only 8 shells, while you have similar, like this version to the GK, kind of, or FTG. Um, which means you will miss a lot of shells, but occasionally you will have that insane shot as well. So the dispersion is kind of below average, but on the other hand is the closer you come, the more you can of course land, uh, shells you can land, and you have that insane reload. Plus 30 millimeter overmatch, so that's really nice. It's more like a gun, completely gun focused GK, but yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a good ship. It's it's fun to play. I, I love ships with with fast reload, especially battleships with fast reload are really nice. But it's not consistent. It's not like consistent, but it compensates the consistency for, uh, with reload, like. You will still land a lot of time. Like, missing all shells is gonna be rare. It's gonna happen occasionally, but you will still get like one, two, three hits or something. And that adding up with that insane reload, which is even getting crazier with AR, makes this ship really, really nice to play. I like it. I like it. I think it's perfectly fine. It's not overpowered at all. It's not too weak either. I like it in its current state. I wouldn't mind if it gets a bit better dispersion or Sigma. But that also means it's going to get into the dangerous position because that reload is really, really, really strong. GG. Second build? Nah, not really. I wouldn't go for it. I mean, you can. It's pretty much... Isn't it exactly the same as GK? Yeah. 